we finally made it to our camping spot for the night. We're right outside. Actually, we just crossed the Oregon border. So we're staying on a river, which it's kind of too dark to show y'all right now. Let's see if I can get a, a decent view. But the river is actually the border of Oregon. So pretty dope little spot. It's way back in this state forest, I guess. But here, let me see if I can show y'all any of it. Yeah, so super pitch black and dark. But it is super freaking peaceful out here. Now, I did see a couple coyotes coming in, so I'm not going to let Lola stay out too long, and we're going to cook inside the van. I'm going to make sure I... Where is she? Keep my little spotlight on her, because i got to keep my baby girl safe. So even when I'm camping out in remote areas, I still always put my little front window shade on. I don't have any curtains yet on my windows. They are all limo tinted, so when the lights are on, you can see through. But at night, when the lights are off... Yeah, you can't see nothing. And then if I have my TV on the lowest but like brightness setting, she perfect. You cannot see in this bad boy. So we're gonna try round two on these uh, gobber steaks. Ooh. We'll take each one of our pieces of meat. Got two of them. And then I guess I'll go ahead and let the meat cook for, I guess I'm gonna try like, six minutes each side first. And then I'll cut them open to see where it's at. Because I do like a medium rare steak. So that's not good. Our gas is out. Uh, hope I've got a spare bottle in the back. Your boy did not <laughs> prepare her too well. Bingo, baby. We are back in business, baby. Bon appetit, baby. Dude, these things came out freaking perfect. Let me see. I'll cut one open for you right quick. Oh, come on now. Now that's a medium rare steak, baby. Ah. Uh, Can you hear that? Here, let me put it closer. Can you hear that? It's still mooing. All right, of course I'm not going without giving my little baby Lola some food. There you go. Oh, she loved that. She ate that bad boy quick. Yeah, it's really good if you put some salt on it. I love a nice medium rare steak. I, oh, dude, I love it. So another really cool thing that y'all probably don't know yet. At the time I'm recording this video, which is like, I think it's January 10th. I'm going to be monetized tomorrow on YouTube. So that's a pretty cool little milestone of mine that I've been trying to get to for a year. And this is my first like full-time road trip where I can put out consistent content. And I think that's what's helping me get to that, that mark. So I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. And this dog will not stop freaking begging for food. It's ridiculous. That's all I got. So I just put out my little thermostat. It's probably going to take a couple minutes for it to adjust. But it is... 61 degrees inside of the van right now and it's only supposed to get down into like the 30s tonight so i don't think i'm gonna run my heater i've got this thing insulated pretty well it's got two inches of insulation in the ceiling an inch in the floor and then two inches in the walls so it's insulated pretty dang good so i probably just use some of lola's body heat and then some of the blankets to keep me warm tonight but thankfully this spot actually has good service so i'm gonna try to turn on my tv see if i can get some netflix going it's pretty early here right now i just got over obviously the oregon line and yeah it's only 7 46 so we're just gonna chill out for probably an hour or two and then we'll hit the sheets i think we can achieve it i think we can achieve it once it's all done the exhaust you're gonna... all right i'm hitting the sheets good night y'all i'll see you in the morning and i'll show you this beautiful view good night good morning you filthy animals lola's just chilling right now. But let me show you this freaking dope camping spot that I had last night. It's right on the Snake River here in Oregon. And it's beautiful. Yeah, look at this beautiful camping spot that I woke up to this morning. It's freaking sick out here. Got the nice snow-capped mountains. Got the mountains in the back. We could hear the coyotes last night. It wasn't too bad. 
I slept pretty dang good, but the beast is looking sweet. So for breakfast this morning, I think I'm just gonna whip up some eggs and sausage again real quick. Sounds kinda freaking mint. All right, and Z food, he's done. Looks freaking mint. I've got really good at perfecting sausage and eggs. About the only thing I can cook that's good. And it never fails. Look who's bagging already. There you go. Quick little hack for anybody that lives in a van. Cleaning dishes sucks. Also, not having a sink sucks. So I went and bought a spray bottle, put some soapy water in it, and you just squirt stuff in there. And it's like really easy to clean your dishes. You don't waste a lot of water. Works perfect. I love having a camping spot when I got phone service because then I can watch Matt's off-road recovery. Vans are awesome. I don't know. I love this thing so much better my truck camper. I just feel so much safer. I just hop right in the driver's seat and all but. If I get into any sketchy situations. And Lola definitely likes it a lot better, especially for sleeping. She just chills in between the seat. And then when we're sleeping, she's up on the big bed with me. Come on, yeah, go pee pee. Good girl. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you all this little coastline. It's actually pretty dope. Yeah, so right here, we're pretty much at the base of the river with some sick snow-capped mountains and it's just so peaceful out here so quiet should have brought a couple fishing poles check this out dude this is so sick water's pretty clear too what you doing baby what you doing little pup and then here's the backside view of where i'm camped at you can see the orvan right there and we've just got freaking mountains mountains so sick don't see stuff like this in florida at all the camping is on a different level Ooh, out in the pacific northwest i'll go ahead and throw this drone up real quick so y'all can kind of see how sick the landscape is around here baby you give me ice and fire you're giving me wind and rain you're some kind of bird So I'm all packed up. I'm gonna, I think, get rolling. Since we came in so late last night, I kind of want to drive that route that we came in and kind of see what it looks like. Uh, this road is like, I think it's like 10 or 12 miles long and it pretty much follows the river the whole way. So it should be pretty cool and pretty scenic little drive. So I'll show y'all, I'll take you along with me if you want. I mean, you don't have to go, it's up to you. What you think Lola? Should they go? I think she said, yeah, you guys should come along. All right, we are ready to get on the way. Check out how steep some of these cliffs get. And then in the back, all the snow covered mountains. Freaking sick, boy. And it almost looks like there's a cave or something over there. I don't know what that is. So this road, that I am on right now is actually like 30 miles long. I wasn't gonna drive the whole thing cause it's gonna take a lot of extra time, but I think I'm gonna send it cause it's actually a pretty cool drive. 
It's a little slick because it did snow yesterday and all the snow had melted. But these tires are gripping pretty good and we'll just keep ripping, see what we can get ourselves into. So that little cave I just showed y'all, I actually found a little pathway down to the other end of it. So I'm gonna go check it out. It looks like it's kind of like underwater. I can't really go walk through it, but I can at least show you what the opening looks like, I think. Oh, yep. Here's the cave. I don't think I can actually get down in there. I don't, I'd try, but. But it looks like when the water level's up high, that's actually underwater anyways, because you could see how low this river actually is right now. Pretty freaking cold too. I should have put a jacket on. It's pretty cool. I like this place. Roads are starting to get narrow and they're starting to get steep. We are definitely way back in the boonies. This is freaking wild. So I just found this dope little camping spot. Too bad we got in a little too late last night or else I would have kept driving down the road. It's just kind of sketchy driving down while it's dark, but you've got your own little freshwater creek. Just running down. Could have had a dope little spot right here. Tell you what, there would be nothing like just hopping right out of this van and having that little creek playing all night long. This is sick. Roads are a little muddy here in the back country too. You can see with the offset of them wheels, it's uh, she's spitting up a little bit of mud. Come on, no, no, you can do it. She's scared of the water. <laughs> this dog is scared of everything. I've never seen that dog so happy in her life. She loves traveling out of this van. <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> up in high elevation leaving these mountains when there's snow on the ground and look how far down the river is the roads are also a tad bit icy which i do not like i was actually slipping coming up the hills over there but thank goodness for the new tires because they they gripped fine but i don't know i'm taking it nice and slow down this mountain for sure It's freaking, it's slicker and dog crap out here, but I really need four wheel drive like that. What if you get stuck, man? And we are out of the dirt roads and the trails. I appreciate y'all watching. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. So I will see y'all on the next one. I love every single one of my supporters. So I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks, bye.